Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long while since I made a video and uh, I'm sorry about that, but sometimes life gets in the way. Well, I'm going to go try and uh, make some more videos now and uh, I'm going to start today by making a uh, coloring tutorial for Medibang Paint Pro, which uh, is actually a very good free program. And uh, I'm going to take you over to my Wacom now, and let's go ahead and get over there. In um, my setup here, you can see that I've uh, drawn a Pokeball. And uh, let's go ahead and try and make some, uh, get some color on that. I'm going to start this whole thing uh, by selecting my... A wand, magic wand, and I'm going to select all the white. And in order to co get the correct selection, I'm going to go on select inverse. And because there is an artifact in my that I can't explain, I'm going to use lasso and get rid of that selection. Now, all that is selected is my Pokeball. In the layers on the right, you can see I have a, poke, a folder called Pokeball Finish. I just did a test to see everything works or worked all right. But anyways, what you want to do now that you have the Pokeball selected is on your keyboard, press Control X to cut and Control V to paste back in its own place. What you have done now is essentially just taken the line work and cut from one layer and posted to a new layer. Now, while still having the same selection, click back on the first layer. And now we want to put some background color on that. I have a color in my palette that I usually use as a background color. And press insert, which is the keyboard shortcut. Press insert. And the color is behind the line work which is exactly what you want. Now let's go ahead and try and color this with some real colors. The Pokeball is red and white. So what we, want, what we want to do is create a new layer that should be between the background color and the line work. It should be between and it should be a clipping layer. Now again, using my wand, I select the top half and we want to expand, so select Expand or Control Shift E on the keyboard by two pixels, and we want to find a nice red color. Again, press Insert, and the top half is red. Let's put some white color on there. Again, new layer between the first and the second clipping layer. We want to now use the wand to select the bottom half. Again, expand two pixels. Find a nice white color, which again I have on my palette. Insert. And if we just deselect, you can now see that it's red and white. Let's put some color on the ring in the middle. Again, make a new layer. Clipping layer. It's nice repetitive. Select the something got mixed up. Oh. There we go. Let's find a nice dark gray. That's a little bit dark, like so. Insert and control shift expand. I'm going to use one pixel now. Find a nice light gray. Insert, deselect, and there you have a colored Pokeball. Why we want to use clipping layers is because the 
coloring or lighting and shading is a lot easier. If we want to put some uh, shade on the red layer, let's now use Alt and click to find the red color to find another bit darker red. I'm going to press Ctrl on my keyboard and click the layer. That way, only the, the red layer is selected. I'm going to use my watercolor brush using the red, darker red, selecting brush and there. As you can see, I'm only coloring in the red. Even though I use a nice wide stroke, only the red is affected. Right, so this is a very quick and easy tutorial. I've also made up, or, or the setup I'm using is completely new. I have a lot of screens set up. I have my Wacom, Wacom, sorry, it's called, it's pronounced Wacom. And I'm using an Elgato Stream Deck controller which is a lifesaver this thing is I can mute the microphone turn it back on everything everything is just instead of using keyboard shortcuts everything is handled through the uh, Elgato and that thing I will try and make a review of it my god that thing is a lifesaver so something for the future right thanks for sticking by I'm uh, sorry it's been a while but what can you do? Thank you again, and I'll see you soon.